Your Excellencies, the President of the United States. Let's get this over with. Look, I own a couple shotguns. I, 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 I haven't shot them in a while because I used to usually just make target practice, skeet shooting. Because, you know, the Second Amendment didn't say you can own any gun. You can own any weapon. You couldn't own a cannon when, you were, when the Second Amendment was passed. It's totally made up. The idea, if you were driving your automobile here and you left in the key in the, in the, in the parking lot, you left the key in the ignition, and a kid came up and jumped in and stole it, and they got in a crash, you're liable civilly. Why in God's name do people not have to lock up their firearms? Why is that not a requirement? All these mass murders, not, not this weekend, but have been because people have picked up kids and grabbed stuff off of counters, off of their... Uh, anyway, I don't want to get, I get angry. We need to ban assault weapons high-capacity magazines. You couldn't... Anyway, don't get me started. But. And all the studies show, by the way, you get from, people get from point A to point B faster on a train in their car, they take the train. They take the train. Over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars. All told, we've created 14 million jobs since you took office, more than any president's created in all four years of a term. Wages are up more than inflation. 60% of workers say their income has not been enough to keep up with inflation. More than half of those who got a pay bump said their pay lost ground to inflation. The American Christmas Tree Association says Christmas tree prices are up 10% from last year. For the large part, we're talking an 8 to 10% increase. Um, that's what our, our costs have gone up. We've all seen that. We've all felt it. My own family's felt it at the grocery store, just like everybody else. A holiday dinner could cost you more as well. Food is up 3.3% from last year. A lot higher if you factor in the last two years. The 2023 ISCS Holiday Intention Survey found that 42% expect to pay more for holiday gifts due to inflation. They started off making fun of it, calling it Bidenomics. Well, guess what? It is Bidenomics. We have a lot more to do to put our plan is already paying off. The numbers tell a different story, according to a new Fox poll, which says 78 percent of voters view the economy negatively and 67 percent say the worst isn't over yet. With less than one year until the 2024 presidential election, Democrats are now ditching the term Bidenomics as the economy under Biden faces increased criticism. Take a look at these numbers. Since the president took office, consumer prices are up better than 17 percent. Gasoline prices up better than 35 percent. Credit card debt is up better than 40 percent. Wages, meanwhile, are down nearly 3 percent. And generally, people don't seem to be thrilled with Bidenomics. Yeah, they certainly don't. Look at that. 49% bad, 26% good in terms of how people feel about Bidenomics. Those concerns reflected in a shift in sentiment from small business owners. A CNBC SurveyMonkey small business survey showing a 13% drop in approval rating for President Biden from 43% during his early days in office to just 30%. One of the senior guys in Amtrak, I became friends with all of them after all the years. And uh, I've ridden 36 years as a senator, and he comes up to me. His name is Angelo. A guy named Angelo. I, won't, I guess I shouldn't say his whole name. This guy, I won't mention his name because I will get him in trouble. I'm not going to embarrass him and say his name. Angelo Negri. And Angelo Negri came up. He comes over and he says, Joey, baby! Joey, baby! Joey, baby! Joey, baby! Joey, baby! Hey, Joe. Joey, baby! Joey, baby! Joey, baby! Joey, baby. He grabbed my cheek and said, I thought they were going to shoot him. And uh, I said, Ed, what's the matter? He said, we just said, I just read in the newspaper. Because they keep meticulous mileage, how many times you, how many miles you use an uh, aircraft in for the United States Air Force as vice president. I just read in the paper, Joey, you traveled 1,000, or excuse me, 1,200,000 miles in Air Force. He said, big, I won't quote him exactly. He said, big deal, Joey. He said, we just had a retirement dinner in Newark, New Jersey. He said, just had a retirement dinner. You know how many miles you've ridden? I said, no, Andy. He said, 1,327,000 miles. 1,250,000 miles or 300,000 miles. 1,285,000 miles. I traveled over 2 million miles in that truck. He said, 1,200,000 miles. Yeah, I traveled did. millions of miles. You traveled over 2 million miles. You've traveled over a million miles on Amtrak.
1,200,000 miles, 1,515,000 miles on Amtrak. I don't hear any more about the Air Force. The story has been deemed false by fact checkers and those sober mm-hmm. who claim the sad, the sad conductor retired, uh, the said conductor retired decades before uh, Biden was VP and died at least a year before he logged a million miles. 1,200,000 or whatever. I swear to God. True story. <laughs> 